All right. Um, firstly, congrats. Do you want to tell us the details of, of um, how long you're signed on for? Thanks, Matt. Yeah, I've um, signed on for another two years with Freo, so I'm very happy about it and looking forward to them. Must feel great to have your, your future secured at the club. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think that the direction that the club's heading in is really good and with a new coach and everything, it's um, yeah, I think we're really in good stead and looking forward to every bit of it. How are you feeling at the the end of the season because you you were coming out of your contract for two years and you hadn't played AFL yet? Were you a bit worried that you might not get re-signed? I think so. Um, I think, though, credit to the club. I was um, really supported really well, especially by, by Bally and all the coaches. And um, they kept encouraging me and telling me that they were confident with, that I was heading in the right direction. And obviously, um, it was it's always been a goal of mine to actually play, but to have them, I felt like they were they were on my side and um, encouraged me along, and they just kept said just keep improving every week, and I was um, able to just keep doing that, and I felt like I was really building, and then obviously with my foot injury, um, it was pretty shattered to to go down and miss sort of the back half of the year, um, but hopefully the level that I finished on during the year was um, helped me in getting this new contract, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Do you think much about that game because? D- it was such a great performance for you from that game. It's just it's, it's unfortunate that that you you went down late in the in the contest. Yeah, it is funny how things work, isn't it? I was sort of I don't know all, all year you sort of prepare yourself for um, playing that one big game and the, the breakout sort of thing. And I know I probably wouldn't call it a breakout game just yet. I hopefully I feel like I've still got a long way to go. But um, nice to get that one under my belt. And it's funny how if I had a done my foot in the first three minutes rather than the last three minutes um, thinking about you know whether things would be any different but I don't think that this is riding on one game and yeah it, it, it definitely has, has helped me and um, if anything to be honest it kind of just gives me a whole lot more confidence which um, I can hopefully bring into 2020 and, and beyond. And did that give you the motivation to to get through rehab because obviously rehab's not the easiest place to be in? Yeah absolutely yeah I think um, yeah, there's a few little different things you draw motivation from. I think um, the more driven you can be sort of as a person, regardless of what position you're in, the, the better career you're going to have. And I'm lucky that we're very well supported with the other players that are in the rehab group, uh, especially in that back half of the year. My housemate, Steph Giro and Luke Valenti both joined me, as well as um, Alex Pierce with his ankle, Matt Tabernard, Jesse Hogan. We had a very similar injury to mine. and um, There were a fair few of us that sort of backed in there, but a real team culture was starting to build and um, it was actually really, really good just being able to train with other guys and makes getting through it so much easier. And now how's the foot feeling? Is a, is a plan that you'll be able to kick off training in, in early November? Yeah, it's good. It's good. I've had my program and tried to follow it to the T. So I'm back in, back in a shoe. Got out of a move two weeks ago, which has been amazing. So um, I had 10 weeks non-weight bearing, which... Um, was a fair while of 14 weeks in the boot. So it ended up being a bit longer than what we thought it would. But, yeah, hopefully I'll be right for, for round one. And I think hoping to be in full footy um, probably four weeks post-Christmas will be, be my goal. But obviously it's all got to progress well. And, um, yeah, I've just started my walking program. So on the road up, which is good. And and I guess you moved up in the ranks in in, in the Ruck squad, I guess, with, with Sandy leaving and, and Scott as well. So it... It's looking likely that that you'll be able to push for a place this season. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I don't, you never you never want to put all your eggs in one basket by sort of calling it like that. I think in the past at any level of footy, um, you sort of tend to, or well, I definitely have anyway, tend to riding on you know whether you picked or not, and whether you're in or not. And you can stress yourself out so much if you think about it all. But really, for me, I've just got to keep training hard, going hard. And, um, trying to play well in the waffle if that's where it is, or if I am lucky enough to get a job opportunity. Um, I think just wherever you're playing, if you can bring the same intensity and mindset. And for me, I definitely sometimes overcomplicate things. So to be able to break it all down um, and really simplify things helped me. And I think going forward, um, that'll be a goal and sort of not trying to get clouded by selection and just play my own brand of footy. And um, I think that'll really help me going forward. Have you had a chance to speak to Justin yet? Yeah, I have actually. I was in at the club um, for sort of a few days um, over the when we had the Doig and yeah, met him and went into his office and had a bit of a chat, which was really good. He seems like a really good fellow, and I think that all the players are going to learn to trust him really quickly in the direction that he's putting our club in. 
And where are you now? What's your what's your break like? Uh, I'm currently just at home. I'm uh, in Barat at the moment, but yeah, just been. I live sort of. My parents have a farm two and a half hours west of Melbourne, so been at the farm a lot, in Ballarat a lot, seeing a lot of a uh, lot of friends and family, and um, did a bit of a road trip around the coast with my girlfriend, which was great. And yeah, I'll, I'll come back on Sunday, sort of a week early, to try and start my. Hopefully, I've got my first Ultra G run. Uh, on Monday this week coming. So um, that's my, my next tick of the box and, yeah, getting ready to get stuck back into it. And won't be too sad to get back to Perth? <laughs> not at all, not at all. I'm very keen. No, I'm, I'm very, very much so ready to go back and start training again. I've, I've been following my program, but, um, yeah, I'm keen to get back and see all the boys and um, I hopefully have a few family and friends come over and visit me again during the year, which is always a good support. So, no, I'm ready to get into it. Great. Thanks, Lloyd. Well done and, and we'll see you when you get back. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, we'll do. I'll see you soon. Cheers, mate. See you. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Speak soon. Bye.